Under most circumstances, my mom would kill me for even showing how messy our garage is. But in this situation, I think she'll be okay with it because I'm pointing out the fact that 90% of this is mine. The whole thing is just an unorganized pile of nuts and bolts and everything else I had laying around. And it's gonna drive me crazy. Adjustments, boom. Most of the time I can play the victim card because I wasn't able to get to half my stuff with all these books and stuff that were laying around, but now it's 100% my fault. I no longer have excuses and I need to clean the garage. Not to mention the fact that I can't find half my tools and I know I didn't lose them, I just know they're in this clutter. It's also 6.14, so like, p.m. I look so fat in this video. If it wasn't recording all of that, I'm going to be so ticked off. Anyway, in case it didn't. That's all mine. That is all my mess. And that's not even all of it. That's just like the 95% of it. I have like some stuff over here in the corner, but this is like everything that belongs to me and me and my dad are sharing a garage and it's bad. Okay, well, since the sun's going down and I'm about to start dinner, I'm gonna record this before the sun goes down and I don't have any light to work with because I can't even use, I can't even make a video in my room when there's no sun and that and the sun gives off the best light. It, so if you watch my video titled, I need your help, I basically explain how I needed to do a lot of work to the Jeep. Even though I did the transmission swap, I still have a lot of problems with it. I'm still dealing with some of the smaller parts of the transmission swap and I still haven't even got it tested. I need to take it back to the place that rebuilt the transmission because the fifth gear is practically useless and it's making a weird grinding. I'm not sure why. I've never had to deal with these issues before because I never had a standard transmission that had problems so I don't really know how to diagnose a problem. Um, best I can guess is the actual transmission gear is bad but as far as I know it's something that I did won't know until I take it there, but I can't get it there because I'm dealing with the situation with the Jeep not always starting. I've already mentioned multiple times what I think the problem is, but it was a matter of, you know, fixing that as well as these other issues. And then with this whole pandemic going on, I don't have any money, I didn't have any work. I, I was holding off to like $150 and that's like all I had. I needed that money to fix the Jeep and fix everything else. And I was trying to figure out how I was gonna fix this, how I was gonna fix the, the starting issue and the little issues and I still needed parts for the transmission like the cover plate and I was just like so lost I didn't know what I was gonna do there was parts that you know I could probably find cheaper but I couldn't find anyone who had them the linkage for the transfer case the drive shaft all these things I needed these parts I didn't know where I was gonna get them because I was just sitting with no money and not knowing how I was gonna do this and the next day I woke up and I checked my bank account for my unemployment benefits and it had $2,150 in it. $2,150. And I was thinking that was my stimulus check and that was my unemployment benefits on top of that. So I was super pumped. The day after that, I spent almost $1,000 on parts and that sounds like a lot, but I mean, I ordered like everything I needed and more stuff that I'll potentially need, like the harmonic balancer, transfer case linkage, dust cover thing, the rack for my rear tire carrier so I can put the cooler on top. Um, there's a lot of other things. Um, I ordered pretty much everything I need that I think will help fix the starting issue, um, a seat cover. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, there was $1,000 of parts. Oh, drive shaft. That was $200. I ordered a new drive shaft for the front. Pretty much everything I need to fix the Jeep. Oh, but the, I ordered the kit for the CJ7 fold down tailgate. I'm still trying to find a tailgate because I, I don't really know. Um, I found someone on Facebook who said he has one, but he hasn't gotten back to me. Um, and then... If that doesn't work out, I'm just going to order an uh, aftermarket one. I'm hoping that it'll be good quality. Uh, I heard that they're cheaper metal, but we'll see. I ordered almost everything I need, and after I do all that, I should have some money left over. If I spend about $1,000 on all these parts, that means that I should still have about $2,000 after that. And if everything goes well in the next two weeks, I should make another $600 supposedly because of unemployment benefits. So this whole, you know, when the coronavirus came and I lost my job and stuff, it really seemed like it kind of messed everything up for me. I was gonna try to be able to make vlogs to, you know, 
potentially be able to benefit off of that, you know, have people to support me and stuff to hopefully help me with this. But the problem is, is the people I was trying to make these videos for, they're not getting the content I want to make right now. The problem is the videos I'm trying to make, I can't make if I'm not doing anything. I want to make videos traveling and stuff and the kind of people that would be interested in that aren't interested in someone sitting in their house and doing nothing. And so it was really hard for me to enjoy the content because I don't want to be the kind of vlogger who just does weird stuff at home. I don't want to be the person who doesn't travel. If you don't enjoy the videos you're making, you can't really expect other people to. And I didn't think I'd be able to make videos and enjoy it at home since the whole everything I want to do is traveling and going outside and ex being adventurous and that's the stuff I enjoy doing. That's just the content I want to make. So if I wasn't going to enjoy my own content, I couldn't expect you guys to enjoy it. I want YouTube to be my career and I can't really get sponsors from other people and I can't really get supporters if, I, if they have nothing to support. So without me making this content, I'm not going to get anywhere. But the thing is, is everything's supposed to revolve around my Jeep and the journey and there was nothing to do after the pandemic with no money. I didn't know where I was, how I was going to do this. I had everything planned out until this pandemic happened and it just seemed like everything fell apart and I didn't know how I was going to be able to continue making the vlog. I didn't know how I was going to fix the Jeep. I had no money. I didn't know. I, I was completely stressed out trying to figure out how to do everything. I was just laying around doing nothing and then when that check came in, it changed everything and I realized I can order all these parts and I can get the Jeep ready and it was like the biggest thing I did not expect that at all. I mean, I was hoping to make enough money to, you know, survive and stuff, but I didn't think I was going to make enough that I would have bonuses. And then after I made that $2,000, the next day, I was looking through the mail and I found a check. It turns out the $2,010 I made wasn't from the stimulus check. That was just unemployment benefits. I also got $1,200 on top of that from the stimulus check, which means in two days, I made $3,300 two days right after I made that video that was insane I did not expect to get any of that money and it was like an answer to my prayers that all of a sudden it just showed up with all this money so after that I realized that this is an opportunity for me when I have nothing to do I don't have a job and I don't have anything else to do this gives me an opportunity I have this money and I have nothing better to do than to work on the Jeep I have nothing I have I don't have to buy food for going to work this week with my parents right now and they're buying all the food and they're probably really mad about how much food money they're spending on food right now because I'm eating it. Granted, I only eat like two meals a day. It's not that bad. I probably should help with the groceries sometime. If I put this money aside and I only spend what I need, this might actually give me a ticket in to do what I want to do. I have this whole plan planned out right now and I kind of want to keep it a little bit of a secret right now, but let's just say that I have a really big plan coming up and I'm, I'm really excited about it. This whole thing is coming together perfectly. I didn't expect for any of this to happen and I'm about two weeks away from waiting for all these parts to come in before I can start getting to work on the Jeep. Um, aside from that tailgate which um, might take a while. So overall I have put a lot of work into this Jeep but there's still a lot more work to do. The biggest holdup, of course, was money, but due to this like great opportunity, all this money just basically handed to me. I believe very strongly in working for your money, but in this situation, I mean, I'm not gonna send it back. Can't complain too much about it. I'm gonna have some really big updates coming in the next two weeks, and I can't be more excited about it. The vlog is really gonna be on and off. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to work with what I got. But since I have nothing better to do, I'm gonna to try to make the best of this situation and get everything ready. So hopefully, in a few weeks, you're gonna see a lot of things happening. I'm really excited about this. I hope that a lot of you are gonna be just as excited with what'll be happening in the future. I hope you all, everyone liked this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I can never say that word, subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna support my journey, I have a Patreon link down below, as well as check out my store where I sell nature shots um i sell i sell t-shirts coffee mugs and stickers all with all with that nature shots so i sell those online there's a link down below you can go buy those and that'll also help support me um i will see you guys here soon really excited to update you with everything that's going on i feel like some of these things are going to take a while to you know come in the mail with 
everything going on. Shipping's kind of slow. Amazon Prime is no longer two day shipping, apparently. I got some parts from Summit Racing and it took like two days, but Amazon still, I don't have anything from Amazon yet. But hopefully I'll get these parts soon. I can start getting to work on the Jeep, installing stuff, and everything will get cleared up fast. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.